Bismillah, salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa sili amri wa halukhtam min lisani kahu qawli. Welcome everybody to today's video. Today's video, we're going to explore a beautiful tool Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has gifted to us to build consciousness and awareness of Allah in this beautiful month of Ramadan. As we know, Allah says in the Quran, kutiba alaykum siyam, that siyam or fasting was prescribed for la'allakum tattakun, to be more God conscious, to be more aware and conscious of God. And the blessing that we're talking about in Tafsir Qurtubi, Da'ud a.s. asks that Allah, well, Allah, show me your hidden blessing. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells Da'ud a.s. take a breath. And as Da'ud a.s. takes a breath, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells him, O Da'ud, in every breath is my blessing. Who counts these blessings every day and night? And every moment, every breath Allah has given us in this world is a blessing. How to use this beautiful blessing of breath to build consciousness, awareness of Allah. Recent studies and a series of studies has shown that breathing, slow, deliberate breathing, it helps activate the parasympathetic system of the body, which is the rest and digest system of the body, as opposed to the fight, flight, or freeze system of the body when we get anxious, when we get stressed. And taking a deep breath or learning to do slow conscious breathing, it is connected to the emotion, the body awareness and attention centers of the brain. So we're able to regulate our focus and our attention. We're able to regulate our emotions and we're able to build that sense of self-awareness and the awareness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in today's video, I will talk about two different practice. One of them is how to slow down your breath and how to breathe properly so you're able to really kind of get in the moment, you're able to really take care of yourself. And this is called the diaphragmatic breathing. The diaphragm is a large muscle that sits below the lungs. And the way that we do this is that we make sure that we're not necessarily just you know breathing through the upper respiratory system. We're not just breathing through our, uh, our chest. We are actually breathing through our belly, our stomach, our abdominal muscles, they're all activated as you're breathing. So the way that you can do this is that you can place one of your hands on your, on the middle of your upper chest, place the other hand right below the rib cage, right around the diaphragm. And as you are going to breathe in through the nose and fill in the stomach, you should see the stomach and the abs rise against your lower hand. And as you exhale through your you can do it through your nose, but for practice, you can also do it through your mouth. You will see the abdominal muscles and then the stomach falling inward, right? So inhaling and seeing the abs and the stomach expand and then exhaling and seeing the stomach and the abs fall. And this Inhaling and exhaling, it could also be timed. So you can perhaps say as you're, as you're um, inhaling, you could say one. In your mind, you could count one, two, three, four. And then as you're exhaling, you can also count one, two, three, four in your mind. And that's it. So while you do that, your chest should relatively remain still. And the movement should be uh, in your stomach, in your abs. It's also called the belly breathing, diaphragmatic breathing, a powerful technique that we have to cultivate as recent studies show that a lot of humans have forgotten how to even breathe properly. So you can do it sitting down. You can also do it lying down. This is one technique. The other practice that uh, we will talk about today to build that sense of awareness and build, a, build that sense of God consciousness it's called, it's a very simple practice. It's called a three breaths practice. And you're in the middle of a meeting and you get out of the meeting and you have to go pray. Or you had a difficult day at work and you come home and you have to be more present, you know, with your family. So this three breaths practice, it brings a sense of shifting from one activity to other, gives you the time to transition intentionally, and it gives you the ability to focus in the present moment and, and also make your intention. 
as we know that every moment, through every moment and every activity that Allah SWT has given us can be worship. And it is a worship through our intention. Every action depends on our intention. And these are beautiful micro moments of meditation, contemplation God has given us, Allah SWT has given us to make an intention. And these three breaths can help us get into that intention. And the way it works is that we, as we focus on our first breath, we focus on our first breath, we gather our mind and our attention on that breath. And as we take a second breath, we try to relax our body. So the first breath, you're focusing your mind, you're gathering your mind, your attention on that breath, and it's activating your parasympathetic system, calming yourself, bringing yourself, grounding yourself. And then the second breath, you're just trying to let go, just relax. You know, if it helps, just, you know, just kind of squeeze the muscles and just let them go, relax them. Because we carry a lot of the stress and emotions in our body. We have residual emotions and stress from everything that's been happening today, right? Everything that has happened before this present moment. Or, the, or in the anticipation of what might be coming in the future after this moment. And we forget to be in this moment. And it's really important that as we take that second breath, just relax and let go of that stress. Let's let go of all those emotions. As you then focus on your third breath, you ask yourself, what is important now? As you take the third breath, you bring a sense of awareness of Allah in your heart. And you ask, what's important in this moment? What's my intention now? And you can even make an intention in this moment. I'll be mindful and present with my family. I'll, have, I'll, I'll pray really mindfully. I'll really be present with my Quran. So two tools. One is the diaphragmatic breathing, how to breathe in a way through your stomach, your belly, your abs, breathing in, filling in your stomach, and then inhaling, and then exhaling through your mouth for one, two, three, four, and then just repeating that process. And the three breaths practice, first breath, focusing all your attention on your breath, second breath, relaxing your body, letting go, and third breath, asking what's important now. Let's end this video by doing this three breaths practice together. And I'm going to say one, and we'll gather our mind on the breath, try to relax. And then second is I will say two, and you will relax and you know, let go of any stress in your body and three i'll say three and you will just bring a sense of awareness of allah in your heart and say what's important now what's my intention now all right let's do it together one two Three. Alhamdulillah. That's it. May Allah SWT grant you a lot of blessings and continue to increase in this beautiful month of Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.